Hey everyone, today we're going to go over the classic gospel song, Go Rest High on That Mountain. It's on page 7 of Gospel Book 3, and this song was written and recorded by American country artist Vince Gill. Uh, it was released in August 1995, and it won the CMA's Song of the Year Award in 1996. Anyway, it's a beautiful song, so let's get started. Okay, this song is mainly played for someone's funeral or memorial service. I played in the key of D like the recording. However, you can use a capo and experiment and find that the key allows you to sing in your vocal range. And as for the tempo, Gill's recording is between 55 and 56 beeps per minute, which is really slow. And it has a sparse and droning down, down, up, down, up, down, up kind of pattern, strum pattern that seems to not follow any pattern. But it gives a kind of beautiful and majestic feel while supporting the vocal energy, like this. Okay, that kind of feel there? Okay, let's talk about the intro. Um, I take the last two lines of the chorus, typically. Uh, the D, G, and then the D kind of thing. So the Now for the ending, I cut that in half and I just use a... That kind of a thing there, you know? You can end it and cut it in half. So, just need to get it started and get it ended and uh, that's usually where you get that from. And the ending half chorus is just a repeat but adds the A sus like this. Go to hell So, 
that's the only tricky part there. Now if you want to add some performance flare, we're always looking for that, you'll be looking to get the suspended force on the D and the A. It's like a... And on that G, I put that pinky down there. Since you'll be concentrating on the singing mostly, try to find a simple yet steady pattern to keep a good rhythm to follow. You can try to finger pick this if you want for a more stark and floaty feel, but basically a strumming gives it a strong, majestic feel. Um, a finger picking might be... like that, you know, little lonely kind of sound. If you're all by yourself and you want to finger pick it, you know, that's perfectly acceptable. There's also a, another thing you could do if you want to sing it a little bit higher. You can have a capo. I have this special capo I've made. It's just a regular old capo, but I cut a little section out right here with a knife. Just get a knife and cut a little section out, but not too much. And what that does is it floats over you on your second fret. If you want to do that, you get my pick here. You get kind of a droney. Which I like, but I can't sing that high. See how it just gets that G droning? Anyway, if you could sing this, which would put it in C, actually then uh, I would suggest maybe getting a capo. If you have an old one, don't do it to your good one. But if you have an old capo like this, just cut that little slot out to your, for your low E, and it'll turn into a drop D, but you'll be playing it, and you don't have to do all the tuning. Thank you for watching, and hopefully subscribing if this is helpful to you. Now go and enjoy Go Rest High on that mountain, and don't forget to get book number three with the chords and lyrics for your iPad or phone, and we'll see you next Sunday.